Hey guys! So, so far we have learned all about elements in the periodic table and we have learned how elements react based on the number of valence electrons they have. But did you know there are other types of matter in this world other than just elements? You're going to learn about those in this video. So first, let's review the elements. An element is a substance consisting of only one type of atom. An element cannot be broken down into any other substance by chemical means and it is in its simplest form. So, since an element is made of only one type of atom, that means gold is only made of gold atoms, carbon is only made of carbon atoms, and neon is only made of neon atoms. Even if you have one single atom of an element, you still have that element and it will still retain the same properties. So, when two of those atoms chemically combine, we have a molecule. So a molecule can be two or more atoms chemically combined. These atoms can come from the same element, such as one hydrogen atom plus one hydrogen atom, giving us H2, which is a molecule of hydrogen. Or a molecule can be made of atoms from different elements, such as two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom, equaling H2O, which is water. So molecules can be made from the same element or different elements. What matters is that it's in its simplest form. Even something as small as a drop of water is not a molecule of water. We have to think of it at the atomic level. The absolute simplest form of water or a molecule of water is two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom. Now let's talk about compounds. A compound is when two or more elements chemically react and form together and bond. So if we have 12 carbon atoms and 22 hydrogen atoms and 11 oxygen atoms, we get sucrose, which you know as table sugar. Another example is sodium plus chlorine, which makes sodium chloride, which we talked about last week, makes table salt. Here's a trick for recognizing compounds. You can recognize a compound because it has two or more capital letters in its formula. So in the table sugar uh, formula, we have C for carbon, H for hydrogen, and O for oxygen. In table salt, we have the capital N and lowercase a for sodium, and then capital C and lowercase l for chlorine. A couple of other examples of compounds are sodium fluoride and hydrochloric acid and carbon monoxide. Now, whenever compounds are formed, the new compound has different properties than what forms it. So think about table salt. Sodium and chloride separately, sodium and chlorine separately, you cannot eat those. That's not safe. But when sodium and chlorine chemically react to form the compound sodium chloride, we get table salt. It's a completely new substance that's safe to eat. Since compounds are made by a chemical reaction, that means compounds can only be broken down by chemical means. So let's review. We have an element, which is the simplest form of a substance that contains only one type of atom, a molecule, which is the simplest form of a substance that contains two or more atoms, and these atoms can be from the same element or from different elements, and compounds, which are formed by two or more elements that have chemically reacted. So next we get to learn about mixtures, so check out the next video. And that's a wrap.